Hello, everyone. Today is Monday, October 22nd. It's 3.45 p.m., about 15 minutes before the regular session close. And you can see my computer clock on my right. On my left is the time in sales, the E-mini S&P, trading at 2762.75 approximately. A really fantastic day for the auto trader. Lots of the charts we follow uh, were in the positive side of the ledger. The first up is the E-mini S&P on just a regular five Renko chart. And I still have high limits on some of the charts. Um, this one, the goal is a little bit above 2000, 2050. It's normally 1050. But anyway, this hit its goal. This is trading three contracts. So this had a total of five trades, one loser here, and then coming up and gaining that back and then hitting its goal. It didn't have any drawdown from the open. Really nice winning trade near the open of the session. But this is using a higher time frame filter of a Super Inco 6 tick. So you can see how it avoided the the logic of the auto trader wants to go long at the blue bar. So it didn't take these potential long whipsaws because the background of the higher time frame filter is only allowing it to go short. Okay, the NASDAQ on a 987 uh, regular tick chart had two trades and did 1445. The goal on this is 1000. So it looks like we had extreme positive slippage here. And you can see the, the times are all bunched together here. So it looks like we had a pretty sharp drop right here at around 10 minutes after the regular session opened. Okay, the crude oil on a precision 8150 chart looks like it had uh, a total of two trades and probably hit its goal of 1500 and had positive slippage but really nice looking trades really clean looking swings here uh, this is using our line break logic and I just want to note here just how perfect these line break signals are you know, coinciding with the, the trend bars. Uh, so really nice on the line break logic here. Speaking of line break, the DAX on a 34 tick line break chart did 2637 and the goal on this is 2500. So positive slippage and mostly winning trades on this chart. Uh, pretty nice money management here. Getting out near the bottom of these swings here here, here, and this one had a little bit ways to go, but particularly here and here, this is about as, right here, it's about as good as it gets, but this probably stopped out here because it hit its goal. So uh, line break does work. It's worthy of, consider of consideration. Okay, the DAX on a three-minute chart. Uh, this has been really consistent since we've been showing it. Uh, started off with a loser, and really didn't draw down that much and came back with mostly winners uh, made an equity high of 3500 and then had a couple of losers and drew it down to finish at 1987 so uh, again on the goals um, I've got a really high goal on this um, let's go ahead and change this to say uh, 3000 and change the loss limit to 2300 perhaps and so i think that's a little bit more reasonable on this chart and as you can see it's kind of a shame to make a such a high equity high and not be able to stop trading there in any case still a really solid performance on the three minute dax Okay, we have a live position in the E-mini S&P uh, Superinco 4 tick, and this was uh, fairly active today. Quite a few trades here. Spent a good deal of the day underwater. Drew down, looks like about 300 per contract or 600. But then it started to recover uh, here after the noon hour, and it made an equity high of 838, and it's currently short uh, two contracts here. If the market uh, sells off and tests down here, then... This will finish stronger, but the goal on this is uh, way high, so uh, it's not going to hit its goal, but still a positive finish. This needs to be adjusted back into 
something more reasonable, but I think I have it set like this. Uh, these might be some different settings for me to see how this is, might trade. But in any case, still, uh, it's going to finish positive for the day. Okay, next is the NASDAQ on 151 Heiken Ashi tick chart. And this did 16.55 for the day. The goal on this is 1,500. So really solid positive slippage. Looks like we only had one small loser here. And this was finished trading in the first half hour or so of trading. Okay, next up is the crude oil on the Precision 8 150 chart. And this is using our line break logic. Just wanted to point out how excellent the signals are on the line break signals here, uh, coinciding with the BWT trend algorithm. There was two trades here. This is trading only two contracts, I believe. And so trading two contracts uh, with a goal of 1500 so we had a couple of ticks positive slippage really nice looking signals on the indicators as well. Okay, next is the NASDAQ on a regular next is the NASDAQ on a 987 Heiken Ashi tick chart. This had two trades and did 1445. The goal on this is a thousand, so extreme positive slippage. And if you notice the timestamp here, it looks like there was a pretty uh, swift slide to the downside here at 9.39, 10 minutes after the open. And this is a limit order uh, with a pullback of three ticks and a goal of a thousand. So really strong positive slippage here. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a 1597 Heiken Ashi chart. This has a goal of 1300 and uh, is trading three contracts and so it did 1337.50, had a tick of slippage, uh, ticks of positive slippage. The E mini S&P on a 987 tick three line break chart had three winning trades and did 1250 for the day. The goal on this is 1300, so just shy of its goal. Okay, the E mini S&P on a, a Superenco two tick. With the Superenco 4 tick is a higher time frame, and so it didn't take any of these uh, short pullbacks here. The higher time frame is long, and so it went with this long, really, uh, really well placed trade here. This did 12 12. This is trading only two contracts, so that's really strong performance. And I've got a really short profit target, but notice on this, only trailing by one bar at 19 ticks, but it it never um, hit the, that trail stop. Okay, the crude oil on a Superenco 8 tick with our line break logic, and you can see our line break signals here, similar to the Precision Renko chart. This had two winning trades and did 11.30 for the day. This is also trading only uh, two contracts and a goal of a thousand, so really strong positive slippage on this chart. The crude oil on a Superenco 7 tick had a single trade, good for 860. Okay, the E mini SP on our 30 minute chart showing positive again. This did 737.50 for the day. Our goal on this is 15.50. But this has been pretty consistent as long as I've been showing it, just wanting to show that the auto trader can trade on higher time frames. The crude oil on a 150 Heiken Ashi chart had a single long trade and did 820. Our goal on this is 12.50, so shy of its goal. Okay, the DAX on a Superenco 8 tick with a higher time frame of the Superenco 6 tick. This is trading two contracts and only has a goal of 7.50. So this hit its goal and had positive slippage. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 4 tick with a Superenco 2 tick is the higher time frame. Did the goal is 750, and so this just came shy of its goal. E-mini S&P on a Super Inc. of 4 tick, trading two contracts with our line break logic. Has a goal of 725 and did 675, so uh, just shy of its goal. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a regular 5 Renko chart. This one is trading two contracts. The first one we showed is trading three contracts, and this has a goal of 750. 
And so this hit its goal and probably had a little bit of slippage. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching today.